former Solicitor General Florin Hilby, on the first day of the oral arguments at the Supreme Court Tuesday, highlights the blunder Solicitor General Jose Calida committed when he filed a comment before the SC which was different from what the Justice Department filed in its case against Senator Lila de Lima. De Lima was charged before a Muntin Lupa court with three counts of violation of Section 5 of the Drugs Law, which penalizes the sale, trading, administration, dispensation, delivery, distribution, and transportation of illegal drugs. But in his comments submitted to the SC, Kalida said that De Lima was properly charged with conspiracy to commit drug trading under Section 26B of RA 9165. He'll buy zeros in on the different provisions of the drugs law cited by Kalida, saying that while the DOJ alleges that De Lima is an actual drug lord, the OSG is now saying Petitioner is a theoretical drug lord, one who merely conspired to trade in drugs but actually never did so. Because of the discrepancy, Hilby appeals to the High Court that the Lima's charges be immediately dismissed for violation of the right of an accused to be properly informed about her case. Hilby also insists that the DOJ has no jurisdiction to investigate the Lima and that the Muntinlupa Trial Court has no jurisdiction to hear the cases. He cites the Sandigan Bayan Law which states that the Anti-Graft Court has jurisdiction over the cases against government officials who commit an offense in her official capacity. Hilby also cites the Ombudsman Law, saying the DOJ should not have investigated the Lima in the first place because it's the office of the Ombudsman who was authorized to do so. The Senate on Tuesday concurs with the ratification of the Paris Agreement on Climate Change the final step before the Philippines becomes an official signatory to the historic international agreement. Voting 22 to 0, senators seal the country's ratification of the landmark Global Pact, which aims to limit average global temperatures to well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels and to limit the temperature increase to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. The country joins 134 other parties that ratify the international treaty out of 192 countries and the European Union, which are signatories to the PAP. The agreement was adopted during the COP21 climate change conference in Paris, France in December 2015. Senator Manny Pacquiao says the Commission on Appointments will bypass the appointment of Environment Secretary Gina Lopez on Wednesday. Pacquiao says he didn't allow voting Tuesday because Lopez is out of the country. Wednesday will also be the last day of the first regular session of Congress before it convenes again on May 2. Pacquiao says he's sure President Rodrigo Duterte will reappoint Lopez. Lopez made headlines in the past eight months for closing or suspending 28 mining operations. She also ordered the cancellation of 75 mineral production sharing agreements in watersheds all over the country. Duterte earlier said he's thinking of ordering a total mining ban and has repeatedly signified his support for Lopez. The Philippine Embassy in Kuala Lumpur asks the Malaysian police to provide its basis for saying the five suspects it recently arrested for alleged links to ISIS are Filipinos. Foreign Affairs spokesman Charles Jose says none of the five had Philippine passports or other identity documents in their possession. But despite questions on their nationalities, Jose says the Philippines is probing the supposed links of the five suspects to terrorists in Mindanao. Malaysia on Monday announced they arrested five Filipinos and two Malaysians for aiding ISIS fighters to go to Mindanao from Sabah. ISIS is reportedly seeking to establish a caliphate in the Philippines as it loses territory in the Middle East. The Philippines asserts its rights over Benham Rice Tuesday after Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte said he didn't want to fight with China over the 13 million hectare underwater plateau. Presidential spokesman Ernesto Abella says Benham Rice belongs to the Filipino people. Abelia says the Philippine government is duty-bound to defend and protect its sovereign and territorial right over Benham Rice. He adds other countries can exercise innocent passage but are disallowed to stay and establish any structure in the area. The Philippines fought for and won Benham Rice before the United Nations in 2012. Duterte on Monday said that China is also claiming Benham Rice. China insisted on Friday that the Philippines cannot take Benham Rice as its own territory. 